Hello everyone and welcome to part three of my Bank of Mum and Dad challenge and I just wanted to start off by saying a big thank you to everybody on Twitter who's supporting the challenge and those guys who have started Let's Plays on YouTube. Um, it's so fantastic to see people having a go at the challenge, um, being enthusiastic, asking questions. It's really, really good and it's really getting my brain going. So um, yeah, big thank you to all those people out there. Um, so I made a card couple of changes to the house off screen which I'll just show you. The first thing I actually did was at the end of the last part I explained how I had completely screwed up the family. Like uh, Albert and um, Melissa were not even preg uh, say pregnant, that's completely wrong. They weren't even married um, and the children were mixed up in terms of who was their parents and I've sorted it all out now. So <laughs> Albert and Melissa are happily married and they have the three children and it's all good. So uh, the other change I made was I gave Melissa, she had grey hair before and I thought she's quite a glamorous old lady and you know she's trying to stave off um, old age and keep her youth and I suspect she would be one for the old Botox and uh, you know she, she uh, has a lot of makeup on and she's a very glamorous lady and um, as I explained in my part one of the challenge when I gave you a little backstory, she has her own, well she did before she retired, had her own online fashion company and was a very successful uh, businesswoman. So I kind of gave her blonde hair. I thought, yeah, she, she, she probably has a personal hairdresser who comes and makes sure she's looking tip top and, you know, there's no grey roots in sight. Albert, I left grey. He, he, I think he's what you would call a silver fox. <laughs> um, you know, he keeps himself in shape and he keeps his beard nice and trimmed and his hair nice and neat. But um, yeah, he's great. And I don't know why he's got his hands pretty much down his pants in this little shot. I'm sorry about that. It's slightly awkward. So a couple of questions that people had. Um, well, not direct questions to me, but I've watched uh, Scottish Simmers Let's Play. She's done part one and part two of her challenge, so go ahead over to her channel and check those out. Uh, she had a couple of questions. Uh, one was, can I purchase skill books? Now, um, you can, but I wouldn't. I don't think it really fits the rules if you let your sim sit and um, read a skill book. I, f I, th I kind of consider that counted... Sorry, my words are mixed up. Um, I, I consider that actively building a sim skill and actively encouraging the, the, the sims to build skills when they're not really going to do that. Um, I don't really don't mind if you build skills for the elders or the parents if they're adults um, because they've they've had their life and they probably are highly skilled and um, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm not too bothered about that. But for the teens... I wouldn't let them read skill books. And another question was the nano bin. So at the moment, it really doesn't matter if you use the nano bin because we have plenty of money um, in the household. When we get to the teens having to, uh, you know, provide for themselves and pay their bills, I would go along with if you have a maid and she picks up a load of plates around the house, puts them in the nano bin, you get money for it that's fine. If your sim, whilst you're concentrating on another another sim or you're sort of not, not paying attention, puts something in a nano bin and urges money, urges? Oh my god, what is wrong with my words? Um, earns money, then fine. But I think as the player, don't tidy up after your, your um, teens or your household. So don't like, you know, drag things into the bin and earn tons and tons of money by having loads of plates and dragging them all into the bin. I think that's kind of against the rules. Let your maid do the cleaning up. Um, so I hope that makes sense. Any more questions like that, just seriously send me a tweet on Twitter at PhD Simmer. Drop a comment in any of my videos um, for this Let's Play or go to the forum where I've got the rules um, and drop a comment there. That's absolutely fine. I'm most of them I probably won't have an answer straight away to. I might need to think about it. Um, and then I definitely will answer you. So let's get going, really. Uh, so let's have some pan fried tilapia. It's 6.03 in the morning. I think that's perfectly acceptable. And today I really want to work on um, Melissa and Albert's relationship. I want them to be, you know, a perfectly loved up couple. And... Um, I want them to be 
happy together. They're a lovely, you know, they've been together since they're char- they were childhood sweethearts. They've been together for donkey's years. And um, I want that to be reflected in their relationship status because at the moment it's not great. And I'm worried that that's probably my fault because when I started, uh, when I came out of Create Sim, I hadn't made them married. So... <laughs> But it's fine, they're married now, so it shouldn't be too difficult. Uh, so what I thought I'd do is I'll let them have some breakfast and sort themselves out. The, the teens are all in bed. <laughs> they're not really that bothered about school. Um, I thought I might take Albert and Melissa out for the day. I think they might go to the spa and have a nice relaxation couples day at the spa. So let's wake um, Verity up and get her in the shower. I feel like she would um, take her time getting ready for school. So we'll get her to freshen herself up. Um, Austin, he probably would sleep in. He probably would sleep in and be late for school. But we'll get him up and get him some breakfast because he's hungry. Uh, you know, I don't want to... Um, I don't want to... Um, uh, what's the word? I don't want to, like, abandon my Sims' needs in favour of keeping them in character so Austin he probably would sleep in and be late for school but he's hungry so I'm gonna deal with that and Eva is really happy so we'll let her sleep in this morning and let's just get going really um there was a couple of other ideas I had so I thought maybe Verity's gonna skip a day of school sometime this week and we'll take her out um yeah she's gonna skip a day of school Maybe I haven't made her a boyfriend yet, but I'm really tempted to. So I might do that before I do have her bunk off from school. That mirror doesn't look quite right there on that wall, does it? Because the windows... Let's just have a look with the... Oh, no, it's fine. I think it's the way the wall cuts away. Um, yeah, there's like a wall and then another wall with the windows. So that's fine. Um, Austin, what are you doing? Oh, you're eating. Oh, you're sitting with your dad. I told you, he loves his dad. So let's talk about art. Why aren't you eating? Missy, um, so we're going to open and she can have some pan fried tilapia as well. Why the hell not? School starts for Eva in an hour. Austin, Verity, what's, how's Verity getting on? She's had a shower. She's just checking herself out in the mirror. This is another one of her everyday wears. I've given them all five outfits. She knows she looks good. She's 17 and she's going to school like this. This is ridiculous. But I, th I think it suits her character. So, um, so the boys have a chat. Why? What's wrong with... Are you? What's wrong, dear? Why aren't you moving? Why won't she move? Let's see if we can get her to grab something now. She seemed a bit frozen there. So Austin's having grilled cheese for breakfast. What a slobby breakfast. <laughs> oh, Eva's fe uh, Verity's feeling flirty. Let's get her to let's get her to try on outfits. She's like, oh, what do I wear to school today? I want to look good. Yeah, that's that's definitely a school outfit. No, no, that one's not. That's the lazy pajama outfit. <laughs> she loves it. Oh, very nice, very nice. <laughs> okay, you're gonna go to school like that, are you? She can go however she likes. I don't mind. What's wrong with Austin? He's got oh, he's sore from working out. Okay, he's gonna go to high school. Verity, uh, blah. I'm, I always get Verity and Eva's names mixed up. I don't know why. So Eva's off to school. And what did she decide on eventually? Ah, oh, she's gone with her original choice. Ready for a day of school. Looking good. Let's get a screenshot of her. <laughs> um, Austin, you going to go to school or are you just going to sit and chat? I think your parents would like you to go to school. Yeah, he's going to go. Um, Albert, you're not going to tidy up. I don't want you to tidy up. Um, I need to check that I definitely hired a gardener because I noticed my plants are pretty dead. So, <laughs> um, gardening service already scheduled or scheduled. I never know how to pronounce that word. Scheduled or scheduled, whatever. There is a gardener on the way. So we'll leave that. Uh, the only other things I added to the house was a yoga mat, a couple of um, meditation stools. I think this house probably was built before Spa Day because it didn't have a hot tub, 
uh, no wait what did hot tubs come with perfect patio yeah it didn't it didn't have um any of the spa items or hot tubs so i just added those in um what else did i add i think i no i didn't add any gym equipment i thought i did no i didn't um yeah that's all i can remember at the moment so the kids are off to school we'll let um uh, I was going to call her Michelle then. Oh dear, my na my names are so bad this time. We'll let uh, Melissa um, carry on with her breakfast. And Albert, you need to go get changed. Let's get you to um, change into your... What should we put on? Oh, I think the elders only gave one outfit per day because it's kind of like they're not really going to be around very long. Do you know what? What is wrong with my words? They're not going to be around very lock. That makes no sense at all. I'm so sorry. I'm really sorry. Um. So why won't he psych himself up? Oh, he's stuck. Oh, damn. Okay. Let's just... Escape. Um. We're going to delete these two chairs because I don't think... This house actually does have a hell of a lot of chairs and tables, so we don't really need four chairs out there. So, go and psych yourself up, ready for a day with your wife. Um, Austin, are you going to school? He's going to school at 8.30. Okay, well, like I said, that fits his character. So, I'm going to get the uh, teens to... We're going to get Verity to slack off. She's probably like that. Did I click that? Yeah, she's slacking off. Um, Austin, he can make friends, and so can um, Eva. I think they would, you know, want to be popular and social. And then, no, you're not turning up. No, 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 that is for the maid. I think she looks so much better with the with the blonde hair. I, I, I really, really think she looks better. I hope you guys like it as well. So you can come over here and wait for your husband, and then you two are going to go out for the day and do some bonding. And hopefully the maid comes and tidies up all these packages around. Uh, I don't think we're going to hire a caterer today, because we don't really need one. She's like, come on, darling! And he's like, no, I need to, I need to be ready. I need to psych myself up for the day. Very nice. Okay, so let's get these guys to travel. Um, so we're going to travel with her husband, and we're going to go to the spa. We're going to have a nice day at the spa. So, um, we've got, I added these two spas in because I'm doing a get together let's play where one of the sims has a relax and a wine club but I think we're going to go to the kind of uh, official spa if that makes any sense this is Daisy Hovel actually I think that's the name of the lot isn't it anyway we're going to go to the spa okay we're at the spa an energy centering yoga class is beginning in 30 minutes please find and notify the yoga instructor if you wish to participate well I think they would participate you know, they're all about keeping themselves young and active and healthy. So, you know, they're trying to stave off old age for as long as possible. So we're going to get them to go up here together and wait for the yoga instructor. And um, hopefully they can have a little socialization whilst that's happening. So I hope, guys, I hope you guys don't get too... Um, uh, I don't want to say bored, because I, I don't think that's the right word. But... Uh, like the challenge really doesn't start until the elders have been killed off or moved out or whatever's going to happen and the teens then have to fend for themselves once they become young adults um i hope it's not too much of a drag until we get to that point like we only have to play a minimum of seven um days with them as teenagers and we've already done one whole day because we started on a monday so we're already you know on the second day and i really kind of i want to encourage you to um Really let the teens, during those seven days, or if you're going to play the full teenage years, um, really let the teens... Oh, can we not do the yoga class? I think we should have found him before he's actually going to start now. But that's okay, we'll get them to um, 
Actually, there's probably going to be one starting again in a bit, so let's get them to go in the sauna together. Uh, sorry, that's totally off topic what I was saying. So yeah, I want you to encourage the teens to like enjoy the first few, like those first seven sim days of like they don't really have to worry about their homework, they don't have to, um, they don't have to worry about building skills, they don't have to worry. They basically can just chill out at home. They've got pools, they've got hot tubs, they've got, um, they've got like a lovely home they've got parents who look after them and you know treat them and let them go shopping sprees and you know they get away with murder like Verity's going to be like going out sneaking out to nightclubs and stuff and her parents are going to be like oh you know you shouldn't really do that but they, they just won't punish them because they're very spoilt children so um I absolutely love Scottish Simmer's backstory. So her backstory, which I'm so jealous and I want to steal, her backstory was that her, her, um, her parents, now I know one was called Vincent, Naughty Vincent. If you check out her video, you'll know why he's Naughty Vincent. Um, it's really good, so you should. So Vincent and Kathleen, that's it. Vincent and Kathleen are her mother and father in her challenge. And they struggled to have children and had to use a surrogate. And they were quite late on in life and um so they had surrogate but ended up with three children three successful surrogates and i absolutely love that backstory because it really suits why they're a bit older why they dote on their children because they've wanted children their whole life and um they finally got them so they let them get away with murder and they spoil them rotten and i think that is an amazing backstory so kudos to scott simmer for that my backstory is not as fleshed out but there are parents who dote on their children and um, spoil their children for no real reason. <laughs> so, I mean, course. But I think Albert is maybe the tough one of the two. He's going to start thinking, I'm, I'm going to pass on soon. And do I really want my legacy? My, um, my, um, yeah, my, the, the people I'm leaving behind, the sort of part of me I'm leaving behind to be these lazy teens that slob about at home and have have their cooking and cleaning done for them they they don't probably don't even know how to make a bed and like i said in the last part they probably don't know how to fry an egg <laughs> so i'm just i haven't really been telling you what i've been doing but i'm just basically doing loads of nice uh friendly interactions between these two trying to build their relationship up so we can get to the romance side oh we're gonna compliment his outfit even though he's just wearing a towel that's fine Express admiration. Uh, discuss favourite band. Yeah, she's a music lover, so that makes sense. And then we're going to go in for the romance. So um, we're going to flirt. I haven't been paying attention to all these things that popped up. Oh, charisma level two. Music lover lesson. Austin's met Amia while at school. Foodie lesson. Eva has met Katie while at school. And then that was the yoga class, so that's fine. Um, if anyone wants to make a boyfriend for Verity, I kind of um, would um, love that. Um, that would be awesome. So if anyone wants to do that, I kind of want a, um, I'm thinking like a rebel, rebellious kind of rock. Um, I was going to say rock chick. That's not right. But you know what I mean? Like um, uh, kind of like a rocker or just a bad boy. Um, maybe tattoos. Maybe if you've got uh, I don't have custom content for piercings, so that will be a bit difficult. But, you know, if you could use um, non-CC, that would be great, so that when I drop them into the game, I'm not going to lose loads of items or end up with bald sims. Unless you happen to know I have the same CC as you, but that's probably going to be more difficult than it's worth. Oh, look at him. He's like, yeah, I'm feeling so confident. <laughs> yes, yeah, so if you want to make a boyfriend for Verity, please do... Um, Pop them on the gallery under hashtag Verity's BF. That'll be fine. Yeah, go for Verity's BF. Um, I'll just hover over her name so you can see exactly how it's spelled, just in case there's any doubts. It's V-E-R-I-T-Y, and then just do capital B, capital F. And then um, I'm probably going to film a couple of parts back-to-back -to -back today, but uh, if anyone's created a boyfriend... Um, I will check in between filming the parts and I will, you know, if you want to tweet me at PhD Simmer and let me know that you've got one up there, then I will try and drop them into the game ASAP. Um, but I'm thinking this weekend I haven't got a lot planned and um, 
my friends and my family are kind of busy with their own stuff so I'm probably going to record quite a lot so um, if you're gonna do it please do it soon <laughs> I don't want to sound too demanding oh he's actually bursting for the toilet so let's let him do that where's uh, do you know what annoys me about this spa that there's not a toilet upstairs because it's kind of annoying um, but it's not too much trouble so I think I always get confused about which ones are the male and female bathrooms I think Oh, we're just gonna. Why is that? Uh, why is. The <laughs> oh my god. Why is the bathroom door in the spa see through? <laughs> I'm gonna, um, just for my own amusement, I'm gonna ask him to use the bathroom. Um, Melissa's fine, so we're gonna let her have a. Let's get her to have a massage. So she's gonna get a massage and let's go for, um,. We'll go for this one because it's most expensive, a stone massage. And she'll get an elder to do it because, you know, she knows how it feels. <laughs> so she'll get Jasmine to do it. And whilst um, that is happening, I'm going to, just for my own amusement, as I said, just see what it looks like when Albert goes to the bathroom with the see-through door. So here we go. Uh, hopefully I've picked the right bathroom. I think, oh yes, there's a male symbol there, so that's fine. But is he literally going to sit there? <laughs> oh, this is hilarious. Okay, let's see. Oh my god! The whole gym is going to be able to see him in the toilet! The whole spa is awkward! I'm going to screenshot that just because that amuses me greatly. <laughs> oh, funny. I've never noticed that before. Poor old Albert. He, he's a dignified man! <laughs> Okay, so let's go and get him back upstairs to talk to his wife. Uh, where did she go? Did she get her massage? Oh, yeah, here she is. Loving life. Do you know what? Like, I've grown so attached to Melissa and Albert. Like, I'm going to be so sad when I either have to kill them off or move them out. Like, I haven't played Elder Sims for ages and I just love them. They're so sweet. So we're going to get him to come and chat to his wife after he's washed his hands. And um, part of me is like, I can't kill them off. Like, it will just hurt too much. I can't. So um, we'll see. We'll see what happens. This looks like a very nice massage. I've never had a massage in my life. I kind of... I'm a bit, um, I'm not a very touchy-feely person, like even with my closest friends, I'm not a very huggy person or a kissy person, so um, yeah, I don't know if I'd find it personally a bit awkward. Um, I had to go to a conference in Europe for part of my PhD and um, we went to Bel... Bel, uh, Bel uh, no, we didn't. We went to the Netherlands, Holland, uh, where they kiss you three times on the cheek. And I went into this meeting room and there was like 15 guys there. <laughs> and it was just kiss, 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 kiss. And I've never felt so awkward. And I think about halfway through, they thought, yeah, this, this British girl is feeling really awkward. British people don't kiss. Like, y you probably know Europeans do and different parts of Europe will you do one cheek both cheeks uh, three times I think some places even do four or five and British people it's not it's not common and like awkward <laughs> you can imagine so let's get Albert whilst his wife's having a massage we'll get him to have a massage as well he can have um, let's get him to have a deep tissue massage he's he's led a um oh actually I think Albert would like the young lady to do it. <laughs> so um um he's had a he's had a long life. He's worked hard, he's grafted. He needs a deep tissue massage. Yeah. I don't think Albert would cheat on his wife, but I think he's a bit of an old flirt. I think he'd, he he's 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 a charmer and he's got a twinkle in his eye, but he would never he would never, you know, it's only for fun. He would never cheat on his wife. Um but yeah, if he has the opportunity to flirt, I imagine like he's the sort of guy that would go into a shop and he'll flirt with the cashier, he'll flirt with like uh, a receptionist at a hotel, he'd, he'll just, yeah. So here's Albert having his massage. Very nice. And there's Charlotte from my Team Runaway Challenge. Um, chilling out in a spa. Who's she chatting to? Gavin Richards. I don't really know who he is. Um... 
Oh, and she's feeling good. So she's had a massage. And look at that smile. Look at her cute. Oh, I love her so much. Um, so she, hot and happy, the warmth of the stone soothed from thousands of years of erosion pleases the body. Lovely. So I don't really want to give her too much to do because I don't want them to keep missing each other. So what should we get her to do? Maybe she can just have a drink. And Albert, you can grab a drink when you're done as well. Just in case I click the same one. Are they mouldy? No, they're not. They're not mouldy, so that's good. Oh, don't they have the best life, these Sims? I'm jealous. <laughs> Albert, you are enjoying that massage, aren't you? <laughs> so, yeah, um, I haven't come across any major problems with this challenge so far. There's been a couple of questions, but nothing, nothing that's really um, sort of no major rules that don't work. The only thing I'm thinking is the £50,000 that I've set to start off with enough if you're going to do the full teenage years. So if you're going to do... Let me click on a teen. Oh, what's wrong with Verity? Oh, you should be... You're at school. Okay, they'll look after themselves when they get home. Um, so you have 13 days, I think, when you're a teen. Um, and I'm wondering if £50,000, given the size of the house and the bills and all... You know, if you're going to be um, hiring all these um, caterers and massage therapists and bartenders and gardeners and maids, is that 50000 going to be enough if you're doing the full teenage years? I think it'll be enough for seven days. So if anyone does do a um, test of this challenge with um, with the full teenage years, then let me know if you struggle with the £50,000 because I'm happy to double that if needs be. I don't want you to basically restrict anything in the first few few days before the um, elders move out. Like I want them to enjoy their life and not have to worry about money at all. So um, if it does become a problem, just let me know and I can... I can change that rule. So what's wrong with you? Oh, he's quite tired. After they've had this drink, I think we're gonna um we're going to send them home and the teens should be back from school soon, so that works out quite well. So let's get them to do some more romantic interaction. So he's gonna compliment his wife's appearance. He's gonna be like, oh I noticed you went to the hairdressers and you've dyed your hair. It looks amazing. You look so much younger. <laughs> Um, let's ask a risque question. Because, you know, Albert is an old flirt. Oh, look, see, this is so bad. Like, they're having their first kiss when they're married. Like, it's, I feel like I've screwed up and it really annoys me. But we'll have to just live with it. Okay, we're not going to go to yoga class because we're going to send them home soon. Uh, I want to make sure the teens don't do their homework whilst I'm away. Ah, oh, I can't get in their inventory. I think they'll be fine. So, let's just make them care for themselves. How is... Austin feeling. Austin's fine, so I think he, we'll get him to socialise with... Oh, where is he? Callie. Hmm. Uh, um, Molly. Oh, <laughs> Just look at all these sims from my previous challenges. Um, we'll get him to chat it and socialise with his sister, because I want to build the siblings' relationships up as well. Oh, look at them. They're so cute. <laughs> so... Yeah, they're having their first kiss, but this doesn't make sense because they've got three children together, so I'm sure they've kissed more than once. I'm sure they've done a lot more than once as well. <laughs> well, at least three times. Let's just leave it at that. Um, kiss her again. We'll flirt. We'll whisper seductively. Oh, should we let them woohoo in the sword before they go home? Yeah, I reckon. Albert and Melissa, they're very prim and proper and posh and they're very rich, but they've got a naughty side. They've got a wild side. They know how to have fun. So we're going to let them woohoo in the, in the sauna um, and then they can go home. <laughs> yeah, she's like, woohoo, let's do it. I reckon they they went through some sort of like, well, they're still going through some sort of midlife crisis where they're like, son it, we're going to go out clubbing even though we're 60. <laughs> I mean, that's amazing. Oh, I love these two. Oh, she's bursting for a pee. Are you going to Are you gonna woohoo in the sauna or not? Okay, no. Well, let's... Hopefully they can. 
Put your drink down, Albert. It's really not important. <laughs> okay. Awesome. And then we will let them go home. <laughs> I've had their bit of fun. Um, I think I'm going to end this part in a moment and start the next part pretty much um, straight off. Uh, actually, do you know what? I'll leave it. I'll leave it. I'll upload this and I'll leave it a little while. And give you a chance if you want to make a boyfriend for Verity to do that. Um, otherwise, I'll start the next part. It's quarter past six in real time um, here. So what I will do is I will upload. That'll probably take me, ugh, probably take me a while. Um, and then I will um, ask you guys to create a boyfriend for Verity and. Um, Start playing a bit later. Oh, did she pee herself in the sauna? Oh my god, that is so not Melissa. <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry, Melissa. I'm so sorry. <laughs> okay, so it's so unladylike, but I should probably let her go to the toilet before she um before she um woohooed. But never mind. So yeah, I'll join you in the next part. Thank you so much for watching. Please give this a massive thumbs up, a subscribe, comments, any questions on the challenge, link me to your challenges, your let's plays, your photos, your screenshots, whatever, blog posts, anything. Um check out PhD at PhD Simmer, that's my Twitter and um yeah. I'll see you in the next part. Bye.